Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations, and today we will be looking at Dell's Power Edge C6220 and the C6222 rack server. This high performance server features up to four independent hot swap two socket server nodes in a 2U chassis. It saves space and energy with its dynamic design while harnessing the power and performance of multi server configurations. The C6220 supports Intel Xeon E5 2600 series processors with up to 8 cores per processor, 16 cores per node for a potential of 64 cores. The C6222 supports Intel Xeon E5 2600 V2 series processors with up to 12 cores per processor, 24 cores per node for a potential of 96 cores. The C6220 and the C6222 have a total of 16 DIMM slots available per node for a potential total of 512 gigabytes of RAM, allowing you to have up to two terabytes of RAM packed into the 2U server chassis. Depending on the choice of CPU, the C6220 is able to operate with memory speeds of up to 1600 mega transfers per second, with module sizes of up to 32 gigabytes DDR3 registered RAM. And with select V2 processors, the C6222 is available to operate memory with speeds of up to 1,866 mega transfers in two channels with module sizes of up to 32 gigabytes DDR3 registered RAM. The C6220 offers different system board assembly configurations. The one U node configuration offers up to four system boards within the chassis. The 2U node configuration offers up to two system boards inside the C6220 rack server. On the front of the bezel is the power button, system identification indicators, and depending on your configuration, 12 3.5 inch SATA, SAS, or nearline SAS drives, or 24 2.5 inch SAS, SATA 2, nearline SAS, or solid state hard drives. On the back panel are two power supplies, two USB ports per system board, two LAN connectors, management port, serial port, VGA port, and power on indicator. For server management, the server comes with an embedded VMC 110 with IPMI 2.0 support and a 10100 megabit per second RJ45 connector. This server is also Intel Node Manager 2.0 ready. The C6220 has optional 6 gigabit per second SAS storage controllers like the LSI 2008 Mezzanine RAID controller and the LSI 9210-8i and the LSI 9265-8i add-in controllers. I.O. adapters include various NICs like the Intel 82580 quad port 1 gigabit Ethernet and the Intel X520 dual port 10 gigabit Ethernet SFP plus cards. For greater throughput speeds, cards like the Mellanox Connect X2 dual port QDR InfiniBand or Connect X3 single port FDR InfiniBand cards are also available. LAN on motherboard is embedded in the board with dual Intel i351 gigabit controllers. You'll need to have compatible switches or hardware to utilize your expansion cards. In the 1U node configuration, each node is equipped with one X8 mezzanine slot and one X16 low profile half lane slot. In the 2U node configuration, each node is equipped with one X8 mezzanine slot, one X16 full height half lane slot, and one X16 full height full lane slot. Also, note that the X8 mezzanine is not available in single processor configurations. Both processor sockets must be populated to access the mezzanine. Both 1U and 2U node sleds in the C6220 come with a micro SD card reader in the PCIe riser, useful for embedded hypervisors. In the C6222, a micro SD reader is a standard feature for the 2U sleds, but is an optional feature in the 1U sleds. The dual hot plug redundant high efficiency power supplies are either 1200 watt or 1400 watt. Empty, the chassis weighs 37.8 pounds, but with maximum configuration, this server can weigh a total of 81.6 pounds. The C6220 is 3.42 inches tall, 17.6 inches wide, 
and 31.1 inches deep. The C6220 runs Linux Enterprise Server, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Windows Enterprise Server, Windows Hyper-V Server, and Windows HPC Server. For virtualized environments, Citrix Zen Server, VMware, and Windows Server Hyper-V. That's all for Dell's PowerEdge C6220. For more information, feel free to visit us online at itcreations.com or give us a call at 1-800-983-5318. I'm Chris Rodinas and we'll see you next time.